I started gambling when I was 13 years old on a $5 bet that would have won me $7. I gambled 24 seven. I bet every single game. If there were 60 games, I would bet 60 games. It really wasn't about the money, it was all about the action. I did it until I was 40 and then I collapsed. I was in a car accident. I was so drunk, I smacked myself right into a telephone pole. And I cut myself from one ear all the way over to the other ear. I had all the bookmaker a good deal of money, and my good friend offered to give me money. And then the same friend, I opened up five credit cards under his name. He comes to me and he questioned me. Gary, did you open these accounts on him? I looked him right in the eye and I said, how can you even think that? Literally, I saw the trust drain right out of them. I was clinging to the press for a year and a half. I was suicidal. I woke up one day, the depression was gone. I've been clean for 26 years. Helping people is my whole life right now. There is a lot of this online betting that goes on. It's totally unregulated. There is no regulations to the online. That's part of the reasons um, what stop predatory gambling. It's an epidemic. I want to do something about it. Thank you for being here. Thank you. You've been to the bottom. Yep. You cheated people, lied to them, taken their money, spent all of your money, uh, been suicidal, and come back from that. You think gambling is predatory? Absolutely. All gambling? Pretty much, yes. All right. And uh, you've, you've heard these guys. You, you've heard Sean. You've heard Trail. They're talking about it in a, in a fun way. Do you object to that, or do you think it's too dangerous that it can lead to something else? I think it's too dangerous to lead into something else. The stat that you brought up before about the um, high school youth, um, so we're, we're talking 60 to 80 percent. The stat goes on. It goes to 6 percent of the high school students have problem gambling. And that's where it goes to. It is, so you start off with a small bet. I started off with a one-time parlay. Um, and by the time I was done, I was betting every game on the board. So one time a bookmaker had asked me, do you know how much I bet this week? Um, and I didn't know, I didn't care. Um, but he said, you bet $250,000 um, for that one week. All right, I, what's the problem? And I said, how much do I owe you? And it was something like $3,000. It wasn't much in my world. All right, so I said, what's the problem? And he said, you just don't understand your problem. And I was from my bookmaker on that. And the problem with ga online gambling or gambling in itself, you may bet one bet at, at a time on it, but as a gambler, normal gambling people just don't bet one for the time. They'll bet four, five, six, ten games in, in a day. If there's 16 games in a day, you know, how much do you bet on, on a regular Sunday? It's not just one bet. You're betting much more than just the one bet. And that's where they get tied into it. So the odds of winning when you're talking, um, like if a pick um, picks one game out of the season, out of the day on it, they may hit on it. The problem is after that, it, they don't. What's the most you've lost on a Sunday or a Saturday, whatever? On a Saturday, I think the, my biggest losing day, college football day, didn't have a good day. I bet um, pretty much $100 per game is what I bet. Um, I probably lost $375. Sean, what's your worst day, loss-wise? Oh, you sound like my wife, Dr. Phil. Um, <laughs> you know... I've lost a, I've lost a couple thousand. You know, you go up and down with the swings of sports gambling. Sure. Um, and I, I would push back. You know, in that piece, he said it was unregulated. I had to do a uh, an insane amount of uh, regulatory work and licensing just to be able to promote my company in these states where they offer legalized gambling. Every episode of our show, I read the 1-800 number for problem gambling. And I'm very sympathetic to people who have addiction problems, but I think the industry can still exist. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you get rid of gambling because some people uh, have issues with it. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.